Hey guys, how's it going? It's Murder here. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video to let you guys know some of the Twitch upgrades and changes that you'll be seeing. As you know, Twitch has been making a, a huge amount of, of changes to, to everything, basically, for, for months and months now. And uh, last night, some of you noticed that the uh, video started to say Source on it instead of 720p+. Plus. And uh, I just wanted to explain what that was and uh, and how you guys might might see differences in the stream in the future. I actually think that for the first time it's a uh, it's a pretty good change and hopefully it it uh, stabilizes some of the problems that Twitch has been having lately. So this is uh, just like one of the articles um, written by Twitch explaining what's going on with the uh, with the transcoding. So instead of 240, 360, 480, 720, 1080, all of that crap, uh, it, those days are over as of August 31st, so just in four days, um, and you'll notice it already starting on certain streams like mine right now, uh, doesn't have those anymore, and uh, everybody's going to have a low, medium, and high available like you do on the Twitch app, the mobile app currently, so I think that's actually a pretty good idea, you don't have to fight for um, non-partners don't have any options, uh, basic partners like me only had one additional option, and then the people who had like the, the highest partnerships had like five options, um, so I think that's pretty good. Uh, people will be able to watch it on low, medium, or high, regardless of where somebody might be at in a partnership. And uh, it's going to kind of go across the board, both to consoles and to mobile apps and uh, and things like that. So they're also moving away from the actual numbers, which some people might not like, uh, but so as to, to avoid kind of giving the, the false idea that a certain number is a certain quality when it really isn't because somebody's streaming at very low bit rate or frame rate or something like that um, very poor encoding yet it would still say 720p just because that's the resolution that they're using um, so I think I think in general it's gonna be better uh, you'll notice that partners um, that have a quote-unquote excellent quality stream which is what they're dubbing the different things I'll show you in a second uh, will will also have the source option which uh, which I do, and that's where it comes in where they're they're imposing certain broadcasting requirements on you, and I don't necessarily like all of them, but in order to offer you guys the source option, I'm going to go ahead and abide by their <laughs> their requirements, um, and uh, it's really easy to set that up in in OBS or XSplit or something like that. Uh, I believe there's even been tutorials on on the various uh, streaming software sites and forums uh, to show you guys how to do that if you're also a streamer and you want to make sure that you abide by their excellent excellent quality requirements um, so you guys in the future you should see source low medium and high as the four options for my stream and source is going to be what you've always been used to 3000 bit rate 720p and in the very near future it's going to be 60 fps again once i have the second streaming pc set up uh, in the future beyond that i could maybe take it even further to do 1080p if people if people uh, want that i know lots of times that's that's tough to download for most connections uh, but it's an option. I can bump the bitrate up even higher. You know, we could we could play around with it now that we have additional uh, low, medium, and high settings to work with for uh, for connections that are a bit slower. So uh, that being said, for the time being, it, it's going to be like it always was. Source is going to be 3K bitrate, 720p, 30fps, and in about a week or two, when I get my second uh, streaming PC set up, it's going to jump up to 720p, 60fps. Uh, which I think is going to be a nice improvement, and then if we want to make further improvements in the future beyond that, we can. But at least we have the low, medium, and high for people who might be uh, experiencing any issues. And real quickly, I will show you where this goes. Uh, it even shows you a little bit how you can do it. Um, but these are the broadcast requirements. Um, I think both of them by default use the X264 codec now because it's just so efficient. Uh, so I don't think you have to worry about that too much. Um, the keyframe interval doesn't really make a big difference. You can set it in OBS as of about a week or two ago when they made uh, an update to OBS. There's now a setting in your uh, advanced settings, I think, under video, where you can just type in the number two. Um, the CBR is the only thing I don't like because uh, I've had really good experience with VBR in the past with allowing people with different connection types and download speeds and stuff like that the ability to watch the video more smoothly because if I was looking at my map or something like that it would only be streaming a thousand bit rate instead of forcing three thousand uh, so it would be less for you to download but uh, they want they want CBR and it makes sense if they're gonna have low medium and high and all of these different transcoding options to have one source 
that's consistent that they could then transcode to, to mobile apps and things like that. So the unfortunate side of it is that if you have a particularly slow download, you might have to watch at lower medium or maybe even high as opposed to, to source. I'm not sure how much of a difference there is there. But they do want CBR, and uh, and that's what I'm going to do to to meet the re excellent requirements to even offer you guys the source uh, feature. And then for audio, uh, this is pretty straightforward: AAC or MP3, stereo or mono. You can pretty much do anything. I I like AAC. Um, I had my audio at at 256 before, but they wanted it at 160 max, so that's fine. That's what I use now, and. Uh, 44 uh, kilohertz is, is totally acceptable or any for AAC so that uh, that works just fine I think mine is at 44 for AAC anyway so um, it's pretty simple to set up the only one that I don't really like is the CBR change but if you scroll down here you can see um, the different different lists for for partners what it means and for non partners what it means and uh, basically I'm just gonna look at this real quick because I, I do have a partnership uh, in order to, to be considered excellent, you have to meet all of the above requirements, and um, your broadcast will be available on mobile and consoles, and viewers will have access to the highest quality stream, basically the source stream. So if you just miss one of those, like if I put it on VBR and I meet all the other requirements, it's only going to be acceptable, and you guys will not be able to see my source stream. You'll only be able to see low, medium, and high. So that being said, I think it's uh, doing you guys more of a disservice to, to use VBR, uh, whereas I could use CBR and get that additional transcoding option. So. Uh, that's what I'll be doing, and hopefully uh, you guys don't have too many complaints about it or anything like that. In general, I think it's going to be a good change for viewing uh, all around. And uh, let me guys, let me let me know, uh, give me feedback. Let me know how different things look, how they feel, where you lag and where you don't, and uh, I can make adjustments as necessary. I know, like I said, when I get the streaming PC set up in the near future, I will be making adjustments to hopefully de deliver you guys a higher quality uh, without requiring more bitrate or, or more downloading on your part and without uh, impacting performance negatively on my part. So I'll be messing around with it a bit in the weeks to come anyway, but please do give me your feedback uh, either through direct messages or, or um, in just in the comments on here on this video or uh, in the Twitch chat. Just let me know how things look and how they feel uh, as, we're, as we're rolling this stuff out. And hopefully that explains a little bit more what you might see and why you might see it if you're a viewer and uh, maybe even give you a heads up if you're a streamer as well as to what, uh, what you might expect and how you can change some things on your end for, uh, for OBS or XSplit or whatever you use. I do recommend OBS by the way. Uh, it's just a little plug there for them because I've, I've had a lot of success with it. So Anyway, thank you guys for, uh, for hanging out. And uh, I will be streaming uh, most of the day today, probably. I've just got some work to do from home. It's, a, it's actually a pretty pretty light day for me, so that's nice um, when, when a weekday works out like that. And I just wanted to get this video out before I started the stream today so that you guys were like, whoa, low, medium, high. I mean, everybody's going to ask anyway because, right, who watches my videos? But anyway, it's up there, and I can direct people to it now. So be sure to check out the stream at itsmurda.com or twitch.tv slash itsmurda underscore TV if you don't already. And uh, hit that follow button. I do appreciate that. And I stream pretty much every day, usually Planet Side 2, uh, although we pl we'll be playing some Battlefield and some Diablo and some Saints Row and things like that here and there as well. So uh, thanks. thanks for hanging out. Hope this helped. Hope it explained a few more things. And hopefully we will have good things to say about, uh, about Twitch in the future. Uh, not that we've had bad things to say necessarily in the past, but it's been a rocky road of, uh, of transition to, uh, to some of their newer features. So... Good things ahead, and uh, you guys take it easy. I'll see you over at the stream.